So the prodigal son is definitely a theme in this record because it's a theme in my life. It seems like every time I go to this story, I see something new because there are a lot of different people in this story. It's not really the story of the prodigal son. It's the story of the two sons. And when this son who bought the lie that if he could just get free and have everything that was already his, but have it now, that his life would be so much better, he bought it and he ran and he spent everything he had and he found himself feeding pigs. He found himself in the dirtiest place with the dirtiest things and even being envious of what the pigs had to eat. He had hit the bottom. Maybe you've had moments like that. Verse 17 has always stuck out to me because it says, but when he came to himself, he said, I will arise and go back to my father. Have you ever had that moment? Man, I have been in several moments in my life as a believer where I just sort of got off track. I think the very first thing that the enemy comes after in a believer's life is he's, he's coming after your time with God. He's gonna try to separate you from God's word because God's word reminds us who we are and it reminds us who he is. So when I'm getting into God's word, he's reminding me of these things and the Holy Spirit is reminding me of what I've read. So the enemy needs me away from this. And when my counsel stops being God's word and it starts being how I feel and what I hear and the situations that I'm in, things get go from black and white to gray. Then there are things that we will do and in and, and the ways that we will think and we will rationalize things that we would have never thought before. And we can find ourselves in some really dark places. And I can remember those moments in my life when in the middle of all of that, being in control, having what I wanted or what I was chasing after at the time, and suddenly just thinking, what am I doing? This is not who I am. And that's the Holy Spirit that we've been talking about through some of these other songs, how the Holy Spirit in our life is the GPS. He's pointing us back to the Father all the time. The most miserable person on the earth is not someone probably that doesn't have Jesus. The most miserable person is someone who has Jesus in them and is running from him. Because you can't get away from God's love. You can't get away from the Holy Spirit in you. And this song, Awaken Me, is that moment. It's that moment where the Holy Spirit in you stirs you in the middle of whatever circus we found ourselves in, whatever deep sleep we found ourselves in, and says, this is not who you are. It's when Jesus steps in your way. I tell my students a lot, if Jesus is ever getting in your way, you're going the wrong way. And this is one of those moments where we realize God is loving me back to him right now. He's not saying you're a bad Christian and you're in big trouble. He's saying, let me free you from this. This is hurting you. Come let me fill those needs in your life. Scriptures that, that went along with the song Awaken Me, I thought of Isaiah, uh, Isaiah chapter six. In a dark time in his life, the Lord stepped in. And I remember when he saw the Lord, the first thing he thought is, woe is me, don't look at me, I, I'm, I'm dark, I got nothing, I'm, I'm, I dwell in a land of people with unclean lips, my lips are unclean, just I'm not worthy of you. And in those moments is when God comes to us and says, no, let me free you from this. this. This song is that prayer. It's that moment when I feel God waking me up from a deep sleep. Wake up, O oh sleeper, and let Christ shine on you. Shine down and open.